All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you guys how you can beat any tank in top lane as Riven. Um, this game, we're playing Riven against Cho, which is a pretty um, interesting matchup, to say the least. Um, what we have here is the Conquer page. We got Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Nullifying Orb, and we also have Transcendence with a D-Shield. What conflict awaits? All right, so a couple things I want to um, mention about tanks in general. Um, this is very important. I see like a lot of people talking about this. When people think about like tanks in top, uh, they always think it's impossible to win because they get too tanky at some point. Um, what I want you to show this game is that tanks don't matter, okay? Um, I'm going to do like a little strategy where we shove lane basically in short and we just like out farm Cho so hard to the point we just outscale him giga hard there's no chance for him to become useful this game also show you like a very safe way of like playing against Cho as well of course you can play aggro against them but i want to just show you a more simplified way let's try okay well, like lots of people just don't ex most people that play against tanks, they just want to like keep on fighting and trading and do that all day until they uh, win or lose a lane. But that's like not the way how you should approach tanks in general. I think it's like how the uh, the, the, the playstyle is highly underestimated. I think he's going back for a cheat recall, I think. Oh. He's missing some CS. Nice. I'll probably miss this one. No. Smart Cho. He uh, took the shove up until level 3. And then he decided like, hey, I'm going to back pour. I'm going to do the cheater recall. Smart. Although it doesn't really matter for me. Because I got the wave shoving into Cho now, so... I can pull the same thing now. It's got tier one boot, so it didn't help him. Um, there's a good chance we are getting ganked. Gotta be careful for Poppy, because I saw her passing up here. He got tier one boots, so really, like, Cho has no advantage. Whatever he did was pretty good, though. But he's not getting much uh, out of it. Oh. Don't tell me how I do it, but I managed to miss, like, two cannons. <laughs> Honestly, a joke. I'm gonna charge my Q up. Apparently, like, he just drops the ward down like that. Okay. That trade was worth it for me. And he's dead. Don't forget, guys. Uh, when you play against a tank like Cho and he's running Grasp, which most people do, um, their short trades are stronger because they can proc the Grasp, okay? But if you keep on fighting and you have the Conquer, you're actually going to end up winning it because Conquer in the long run is just going to win. It's the way how it works. So remember that, guys. Whether you play against like Malphite, Orn, Cho, uh, even Poppy or something like that, whatever you can, whatever you play against, Conquer is always better than Grasp in long trades. Grasp beats short trades. So keep that in mind. Hey, by the way, Kuja, I hope I said that right, man. Thank you for the subprime. Thank you for sending that prime, man, and supporting me. That's awesome. Okay. Good win. He's gonna have to flash. Uh. Wow, he's getting away. <laughs> My Q decided, like, hey, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Because my champion was already lined up there. Violence to end violence. Uh, Poppy's in mid.
So I guess he's probably, uh, probably resetting. I'll just take one plate. Nice. We got the first plate. That's a good thing. Good sign. Of course, the timing is a little bit off, so we lost quite a bit here. But no problem, because we can reset. No problem at all. Grab a Crunch Award. I'll just ping my Crunch Award a couple times, because if Graves comes in, we can probably make a really uh, pretty big play. We'll, uh, we will see. Either way, like Grace is playing it mostly around balling currently, which is absolutely fine. He barely has any mana. Apparently, he spent it all. Okay, we missed that CS. What conflict awaits? Okay, he uh, backed off behind the wall there. That probably means we... Uh, oh, he's actually saying... Hmm. Okay, his W doesn't really do much. He still has to manage to drop the Q down. Now we gotta be very careful because the chance of being ganked is very likely now. So just pick up the plant so that Poppy is not able to do it. Pick up all the stuff. Nice. Let me do a wild guess like Joe is still here. No? He actually backed off. Good. Lots of fighting around mid lane, by the way. Oh, teammate's not getting much. Alright, I got my Iron Spike now. So, we are now getting to that point where I'm going to try out that strat. So, the idea is, is that I'm going to shove the lane out um, right here. And then, depending on where people are on the map, I will probably try and farm out the, the wave up here. And then probably... Um, roam around after that either way if that's not gonna work i'll just shove the lane out and then still roam so uh we'll see how that's gonna work out but either way like i'm not gonna focus too much at killing cho because he's already having a bramble and steel caps so it's very unlikely i'll actually beat him he needs to actually overextend um good thing is that cho is actually giving us the lane because he's like backing off he's not really raiding me so Pretty good for me. Um, yeah, probably won't kill Vladimir, but we'll find out. At least I'll gladly take the wave. Smart Cho. He shoved the wave almost instantly. I think he had a ward to find out because they didn't see I was roaming. He probably had wards in the in the river, I think. I just all I need to do is not getting hit by this. I know my purpose. Oh, I still got hit. Oh, he's getting away again. Okay. Oh, sucks. He uh, overextended to the point where I could just all in and use my conquer. 
But yeah, the second time he actually runs off, unfortunately. You'll probably pull the... What is a Contra War doing there, actually? <laughs> Learn from your mistakes. That's such an awkward place. Nice. Two more minutes and we can start perma roaming. Uh, he's got flash. So probably Grace not going to do much. He could bait. I hope he's not going to give a kill to him. Uh, I think he might get away again for the third time. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's a... Uh... Unbelievable. Okay, we got him. Finally, it's about time. Uh, well, this is something we have to run away from. Hmm. Got like one catch. Make sure to get this one so Poppy doesn't. Probably what I'm gonna buy this game is a Mercs. Maybe, maybe I won't. Uh, the wave is way too massive. Gotta shove it though. Otherwise, like, Cho gets a freeze in. Let's go back. I'll, uh, I'm gonna get tier 1 boots and I'll get longsword. Nice. Well, it is now 14 minutes in the game, which means um, we are going to start perma roaming and hopefully we can get something done in this time. Um, I'm not going to... We are going to fight Cho, don't get me wrong, but we're not going to fight him without red buff. Uh, red buff is going to allow me to one for one better, so I'm going to take this first. I'll gladly like give up the wave for this red buff. Now I can fight him. He's playing it so safe. So randomly. Learn from your okay, good luck, Cho God. Have fun. Well, uh, they could have just killed Vladimir. There you go. Let the perma roam begin. Like I said, who cares about Cho? I'm just going to play the game out. Like, we'll pressure something else from the map. No more hesitation. Uh, tanks generally don't have a lot of wave clear. That's why this tactic works so well. Um, of course, the exception, like, Cho does a lot of damage, but yeah. Not a problem. I wish I had someone up here, like, killing Cho. Hmm. It's a bit disappointing to see Cho, like, playing so aggressive. If I would play Cho like that, I would be ganked 10 times already. Yeah, no problem. Nice. Joke and reset, I don't mind. 
burdens of the past. Now we go back. There we go. So now we're going to start building towards um, a Black Weaver. Uh, more importantly, we also need this item, which we are also buying. But first, I need to get my hands on Black Lever so we can actually kill Cho'Gath. So we will wait for my uh, Mothima Mortius for a bit. My hands are stained. Lightning is inting, apparently. <laughs> Running through a turret. Okay. Sure. Uh, max stun, is that standard? Well, QWE is technic technically as weird as it sounds. It's not standard. Um, the Riffin meta is actually QEW. But, yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, people are maxing QEW because... They do it. They don't really know why they're doing it. Most people just do it because they think it's meta. Um, but Riffin actually has two choices. You don't just have to max QEW. You can also max QWE. Um, the difference is that maxing W after Q gives you more damage, more wave clear. Generally gives you more um, power to like all in. Where E gives you more mobility. So that's people that preference. Uh, but yeah, people generally don't think about maxing W that much. I do it myself pretty much 90% of the time. Uh, we can probably kill him here. Or maybe we don't. Oof, 4 no Riffin does not beat a Cho, which is 1 and 2. Hmm. Unbelievable, this guy is an absolute beast. Wow. I'm actually really surprised he beat me there. <laughs> it's really mind blowing how strong of a tank like that actually is. Okay. Well, either way, he flashed. No problem. If I have Black Lever, I'll probably win against him. I'm a bit disappointed with like like how strong tanks are nowadays. Like again, you don't have to fight tanks, you can just let them do their thing, but it's kind of it's kind of a joke like how strong they are nowadays. You Conquer does not help you enough, like beating uh beating tanks. Alright, let's go. Let's go ball lane. Uh, right now, we should be able to 1v1 choke, because we now have Black Lever, so that's not a problem anymore. Let's see how I'll chase him down. Uh, he probably is going to get away. Yeah. Hey, by the way, happy MCK. Hey, thank you for the subprime. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you for supporting me and even considering, you know, sending in the prime. That's awesome. Thank you so much for that. I think they're up here. No. Uh, I think he probably saw me. Vladimir is also strong. Really, really, really strong. It's kind of a joke that he can also run up there, isn't it?
Vladimir is... Uh, he backed off through the lane. Hmm. Yeah, he backed off immediately. There's no wards. No camps. There's this camp at least. Oh. Ah, oh, man, they really do have like no brain champions. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> They got the no brain Shogath, they got the no brain Poppy, they have the no brain Vladimir late game champ, they have like Semra, which farms pentacles like crazy. They really got the, the anti fun team. <laughs> I really consider this the anti fun team. Like, they, they, have, they all have champions which are ridiculous to play against. Yeah. He could probably beat him, he's got no ultimate. He's going to get the same treatment like me, yeah. Except like he does not have R, so he could probably beat him. Alright, I got my flesh. Um, I don't think I'm gonna fight Cho anymore. Because his BR is already this tanky. It's never been planned anyway. Um, now we actually have my flash, so I'll see if I can make a good play in a team fight. I'll still force Cho'Gat on the side lanes, just to keep him there. But we shouldn't allow Cho'Gat to be joining the team fights. We're gonna do the best we can to like pressure the side lanes. I'm taking this thing before they do. Of the lane now. They're probably coming bot lane. Yeah. They're up here currently. Uh, yeah, it's just a Nessa support, so that doesn't matter. Man, they got such an anti-fun team, like Poppy. I, I completely forgot about Poppy's existence as well. Oh man, like Poppy jungle, choke at top, Vladimir mid. They've really chosen like the right champions to not enjoy the game. <laughs> it's, it's, I would also like to say like this is like an anti riffin team comp, like they got the perfect champions for it. What conflict awaits? Uh, Cho gets probably up here, so... Played very careful. There's a choke gap right here, so there's not much we could do. Mm. <laughs> Man, that team gone. <laughs> What a team cup, man, they're playing. 
Oh man. We got a uh, we got an ADC like taking over top lane because they're all like they're all balling currently. Let's go back. Time to get my uh, mods and Mortius, and then after that, I think I'll probably go for GA, or might go a bit more tanky. I might go death stance and then go GA. I don't know how else to respond. I don't know what my button is for emotes. No idea. <laughs> I never use emotes in leak in my life. Choose your own path. Uh, this will be a challenging team fight. See how this goes. There's not a ward in here. They might pass through here. No. How should I proceed? <clears throat> See if I can flank. I don't think they will pass through this bush. What? <laughs> Wait, what were those knockoffs? <laughs> I was knocked out for, for for ages. How many times did I get knocked out? Like three times? Uh, quick question. Is Quinn broken right now? No. Definitely not broken. Quinn is super underplayed. No one cares about Quinn currently. She's not really that strong. Let's get my Warhammer. Their samurai is like pretty, pretty fat. I wouldn't be surprised if 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 samurai is gonna farm a pentakill this game. Every time I see a samurai, like they always farm pentakills. Being at this stage in the game. Stop side. Let's go back. He's dead. Tanks don't really feel like a tank once you have this build. Like, a choke gets not going to do much late game, because, yeah, he sure, sure, he has a lot of damage, but as Riven, you have Black Lever and all that stuff late game, like, you can just shred tanks. Uh, maybe it takes a bit long, but it's, 
most of the time you'll win. Uh, great question. Will you ever do a video in York top lane? I mean, sure. But the champ is really off meta currently. No one cares about Yorick. Ah, that's why I haven't played him for a video yet, because no one cares about Yorick. For many people, it's just some boring champ that doesn't exist. It sucks, because Yorick top is not that bad, honestly. Like, in the current state, he's not that bad, but people just don't care about Yorick. Like, I believe he has, like, a... A 2% play rate or something? Or 4%? I'm not sure. Choose your own path. I am not gonna lie, I think that this game is probably lost. Can I just uh, point that out? Like, um, they have a Cho, the no-brainer, the Poppy no-brain, the fighting melee game no-brainer. They have uh, NASA support, absolutely no-brainer, with a Semra. Like, they've got some of the most broken champions late game, all in one team combined. The anti riffin team comp, literally. I don't think we're going to send much of a chance at this point anymore, but we'll see. Like, they really have some of the most annoying champions to deal with. Hmm, we probably get him. <laughs> he didn't die though. A bit weird. 900 gold. That's yeah, definitely Baron. I'll let my team do it. Whoops. Two people, two people. We, we should take this fight. This is a four, five against two. Yep. Now we just go mid. They're making mistakes. We're turning the game. They made a huge mistake, a huge mistake, let me tell you that. Wow, we win. Unbelievable, we actually win. It's a joke. win this game against this team comp. That's a joke. <laughs> oh, what a joke. They must be kidding, right? Um, either way, this is uh, Riffin Top against five broken champions. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.